From being loaned out around the English Football League his whole career and not even starting for the likes of Rotherham United and Sheffield Wednesday to then nearly retiring from professional football itself. My career I feel like throwing my gloves away now. Yeah. Ultimately going ahead and winning the World Cup at the age of 30. This is the unforeseen rise of Emiliano Martinez. Now, Emi was born on the 2nd of September 1992 to his mother Susana and to his father Alberto in the city of Mar del Plata, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Emi comes from a poor family and as such, his family suffered from a great deal in financial terms. He has seen his father cry late at night over the inability to pay bills, which wasn't a good sight for the young goalkeeper, but football was a form of hope for Emi and from a very early age he found himself in goal where he clearly stood out. This led him to attend some local trials which from their Argentinian giants CA Independiente didn't think twice, took notice and signed him when he was just 16. Emi was the first choice goalkeeper for the under 20 Independiente squad and was performing week in and week out. From there, it didn't take long for him to be selected for the Argentina under-17 squad and while playing a game for them, like usual, he stood out with his performances but little did he know at the time, a scout from Arsenal was watching that game from the side. Martinez was flown out to London for trials and he did well to impress. The Gunners didn't waste any time signing him up for 1.1 mil and the club Atletico Independiente was happy to part ways with him. Now, if you are new around here and you enjoy these type of videos, then feel free to subscribe down below it generally does go a long way now with that being said let's get back into emmy's career emmy had a hard time settling down at his new club and in fact he was a frightened teenager who didn't know a single word in english his family was also very far away from him and so he had to go through a challenging first year at the club all by himself he got some playtime with the reserves but ultimately he wasn't even allowed to play any competitive game as he didn't have a passport and ultimately he was sent out for loan as an emergency goal keeper to Oxford United at the bottom of the Football League in 2012. Emmy played that single game where they ended up losing 3-0 and that actually was his first professional game which ended up being a complete nightmare. From there, Emmy never really got a chance to start in Arsenal with Wojciech Szczesny and Lukas Fabianski being preferred and so he spent a lot of his time being loaned out. At first he was loaned to Sheffield Wednesday for 28 days as an emergency goalkeeper but he played so well they extended the loan to the end of the season and after returning to Arsenal he started to get an occasional opportunity to play. He played in the Champions League helping Arsenal beat Anderlecht 2-1 and replaced Chesney after he got injured against Manchester United. He was racking up the needed experience he was really after. However, in 2015, he was sent out on loan again and this time to Rotherham United who were playing in the championship. While there, he didn't impress. In fact, he wasn't getting any playtime. Emi was struggling to say the least. He couldn't settle at any club as he kept getting loaned out every season and was used as a backup keeper. With that being said, the trend continued continued and he was again loaned out at the end of the season, this time to championship side Wolverhampton. It was a good start for him at Wolves as he made 15 appearances but then he suffered a thigh injury which kept him injured for several months and from there he was unable to regain his starting place. And from there for Martinez it was the same story. He was again loaned out this time to the La Liga side Hetafe on a one year deal but yet again he didn't get much play time, in fact he only played 5 games after returning turning to Arsenal and being loaned out again and this time back to the championship to Reading. This time it was a bit different as he actually got a chance to play making 18 appearances, getting a man of the match performance against Aston Villa and also helping Reading avoid relegation in a season where it seemed like they were going to get relegated. At the end of that loan spell he went back to Arsenal where Peter Cech ended up leaving, leaving a spot for the backup keeper. Martinez was promoted to backup goalkeeper for Arsenal in the 1920 season and then in the same season he was given an opportunity to play regularly after Leno suffered an injury. Martinez played amazingly well and helped Arsenal win several games including a win over Manchester City in the FA Cup where he was praised for his calmness, excellent saves and the ability to play out from the back. From there Martinez impressed many with his performances in the FA Cup particularly in the final against Chelsea where he demonstrated confidence and assurance despite being relatively inexperienced. As a result, he won the hearts of Arsenal fans and gained massive respect 
conflict from football fans around the country and in the 2020-21 season, Martinez had a strong outing in the community shields but ultimately he decided to leave Arsenal for Aston Villa in a £20 million deal in order to secure more regular playtime but little did he know at the time that this was going to be his massive break. On the 21st of September, Martinez made his debut for Villa. He saved a penalty from John Lundstrom in a 1-0 home win against Sheffield United. In that same season, he went ahead and equaled Brad Friedel's club record for clean sheets in a single Premier League season where he hit 15 clean sheets. He was also named Aston Villa supporters player of the season and arguably it can be said that he was the signing of the season in the Premier League as a whole. From there, it only got better for Emi as his dream came true as he was called up for the Argentina national team. He mentioned previously that this was one of his goals as a professional footballer and would ultimately be his biggest achievement. He made his debut against Chile in a 2022 World Cup qualifier where they drew 1-1. He subsequently made his competitive debut in a major tournament on the 14th of June, once again in a 1-1 draw against the same opponent in his side's opening match of the 2021 Copa America. He ended up saving a penalty from Arturo Vidal in that game and from there he helped Argentina progress to the semi-finals of the Copa America where Martinez saved three penalties penalty kicks in a 3-2 shootout win for Argentina over Colombia. He went on to finish the tournament with a clean sheet in the final where they beat Brazil 1-0 and he was awarded the Golden Glove Award as the best keeper of the tournament. After this massive win, he returned to Villa where the team as a whole struggled and it saw manager Steven Gerrard get sacked. But even then, Emi was one of the standout performers. He started every game, getting him ready for the biggest moment of his life the World Cup in Qatar. This was going to be the biggest World Cup for Argentina as it was Messi's last. Emi was chosen as the first choice goalkeeper and they were drawn in a favourable group with the likes of Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Poland. In the opening game of the World Cup, they faced Saudi Arabia and it was pretty straightforward in the first half after Messi scored an early penalty. They had three goals disallowed for offside and Martinez didn't have any work to do in that half. However, from there, the second half saw a massive switch and the Saudis scored twice and made it 2-1 and ultimately went ahead and caused the biggest shock in World Cup history. With two games left, Argentina had to win the next game against Mexico and that's exactly what they did. They went ahead and won 2-0 and Martinez kept a clean sheet and put in an extremely good performance. By leading up to the final game, they again had to win and that's exactly what happened again as Argentina beat Poland 2-0 with Martinez keeping another clean sheet. In their knockout phase of the World Cup, Argentina narrowly defeated Australia 2-1 which took them to the quarter final finals where they took a 2-0 lead against the Netherlands but the Dutch came back to tie the game and send it to penalties. Martinez had a stand-up performance in the shootout saving two penalties and helping Argentina advance to the semi-finals where they defeated Croatia 2-0 where Martinez earned himself another clean sheet. In the final, Argentina faced France and Martinez was about to play in the biggest game of his career. Argentina took an early lead but France fought back with Mbappe scoring two goals taking the game into extra time. Martinez made a crucial save in the final minute of extra time with some even saying it was the save of the tournament and maybe even the most important save in World Cup history. The game saw a fairy tale ending where Martinez saved a French penalty from Coleman and then saw the next penalty go wide from his mind games. Argentina became world champions and Martinez was a pivotal player behind behind the glory, with him winning the Golden Glove well deservedly. This was the rise of Emiliano Martinez, a story that will develop in the coming years, but it's safe to say it's an inspiring tale of a player who had nothing going for him at the top level and through hard work and determination made a name for himself on the big stage. YouTube actually thinks you like this video on the screen, so let's see if they're right or not.